you can verify your car mileage with the OBD2 scanner just by reading the live data from different control units. All you have to do is connect your diagnostic scanner, but make sure that we are using OBD2 scanner that can read the live data from multiple control units because basic scanners read only the engine live data. Now all I need to do is go to different control units and look for stored mileage. Not every unit does store mileage, but some of them do and they can be different for every car. So what you need to do is go to all control units one by one and check if your control unit stores the data about distance driven. Start with engine, go to live data. In this thing diac it's called read data stream. Now you need to look for either the mileage or total distance driven odometer reading. It can have different name for different car brands. In the Toyota it's called total distance driven or total distance traveled. So engine control unit shows 29,000 which is correct, same as the dashboard is showing. And I know for sure that this car doesn't have its odometer rolled back because I have it since new, but this is how you would go about it if you want to find any mileage tempering or mileage frauds. Next I can go to hybrid control, again go to live data. I will again look for total distance driven or total distance traveled. Again it is the same value and other control units where there is high probability that they will store the live data. It can be ABS control unit, dashboard control unit, telematics control unit, navigation control unit. Now I am in navigation control unit. I will open the live data. See also the navigation is storing the data about distance driven. And also the same value, no surprise, because I know that this car has the real mileage. But if you don't know for sure and you want to find out, you need to go through all these systems one by one. Look for any values about the distance driven. I mean, when someone is rolling back the odometer, they can also rewrite those data, but often they forgot about some. So you have pretty good chance to find some proof that your car does have a faked mileage. And also there are no live data about working hours, but for some cars you can also look up the live data from radio control unit. I have a video about this when I calculated the estimated mileage on Skoda Rapid just by radio working hours. You can take the radio working hours and if you find out the average speed of the car, you can estimate how much mileage should a car have. The way I did this was, for example, if the car has 1000 working hours on radio and the average speed is 50 kilometers per hour, I would take 75% of those hours because sometimes you just have the radio on but the car isn't actually moving so I am always calculating with 75% which would be 750 hours and if the car's average speed is 50 kilometers per hour that car should have 37,500 kilometers on the dashboard and that's how you can estimate the car's real mileage it isn't 100 percent accurate but you you know if your estimate is 200,000 and the car has only 50,000 you just know that the car has a faked mileage so again, what you need to do, you need to have OBD2 scanner that can read live data from all control units. Go to every control unit one by one and look for either working hours or distance driven or mileage live data. This method isn't bulletproof because this data can be also faked, but there isn't any bulletproof method to find out for sure that your car has been rolled back. 